Okay, so I wanted to take this time in the video and show off, showcase some um, stuff that I plan to put into the cabinet. Um, these two items right here, I got at five and below. This is a six foot uh, flexi tangle free fiber cable, HDMI cable. It's gold tipped, uh, all the fancy stuff on it, but it's, it's in reality it's just a basic HDMI cable. Uh, I bought it at five and below. Like it says, it's under five bucks or five dollars. Uh, this LED light strip as well with the uh, remote I bought at five and below it's just as good as the ones you buy on Amazon and Walmart and speaking of Walmart this is the only item I did not find at five and below which is a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary to RCA stereo cable okay this is about four feet long and you need this to connect the uh, controller board to the amplifier and this ran me about three bucks four bucks in Walmart so these three items will be put in the cabinet. Uh, the LEDs I'll do before I put the panel back on. The HDMI and the cable will be after we put the uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi in there because we're going to need that for that too. Okay. Okay. What I wanted to mention uh, with the LED strips, I use this uh, three point three feet aluminum LED channel. I uh, purchased this on Amazon. You get a pack of five for like about $25. I'll leave a link at the bottom of the video. Um, you don't need the whole entire thing. You got to cut it down if you're going to put it under the marquee to about 17 and 5 eighths of length. Um, it comes with the metal channeling and the uh, screen that you close it up with. Okay, you put the LED inside here. You run the LED in here and you close it up and you put it on the, uh, I put it under the marquee. Um, the LED changes colors, it does motion, it has a remote and you can cut it to fit the size of this after you cut the aluminum. Now it does come with its own connection. What I'm going to use is some 3M tape that I have, double sided 3M tape and we're going to stick it there and um, take the rest cut off the rest from the LED what we don't need and connect it to the pie so that it can light up as soon as you turn the pie on so let's get that started let's measure this out like I said you need about 17 and 5 eighths of length so I'm gonna measure this out 17 and 5 eighths of length right there. Let me get a pencil. Okay. 17 and 5 eighths. I'm gonna measure this out. Right there. And we're gonna have to cut that. What I suggest is this thing slides. You want to take a piece of tape and tape it in place so it doesn't slide. Take a piece of tape and hold it in place. Just make sure it's even on both ends flip it over you can tape it either before or after your marking it doesn't matter as long as you don't tape it on your marking okay nice evenly okay. let's get the little saw that I have there Cut off saw. No. You want to be very careful with this. I suggest you uh, use some kind of goggles or some eye protection wear. Not just wearing glasses is wise. 
best to have uh, another type of protection to prevent any of the metal coming at your face. Let me try to get this in a way so everybody could see. Put that down for now. This is an also another saw that I bought at Harbor Freight. I've used it for almost all my projects. I use like a little metal plate to help me hold anything in place that's too short. Let's zoom in a little. Okay. See, it's, it's a cut off saw. Well, you can't see it, but it's got a cut off saw there. And we're gonna cut the, the marking as best as we can. I'm gonna, actually, gonna move this closer to me so that I can see what I'm doing. metal plate there to hold it in, in place. I like to lift the uh, protection guard so I could see more or less where that metal is gonna where that plate is gonna land. See if it's gonna land close to my mark. Okay. Goggles, it's moments like these. I'm wondering, shop teacher is allowed to see this. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna cut where we marked off and hopefully get a nice clean cut through the through the metal and the uh the uh, blade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the the ruler. I'm gonna use a new tool that I bought so I can get a straight line. I bought this one at uh, Harbor Freight as well, for like four dollars. See if it give me a straight line. Yeah, perfect. Yes. I just need to make that line all the way across. Rotate everything around here. Just want to make a straight line down so that I could see more or less. I'm going to cut. There you go. Perfect. Give me a straight line down. Now I can see where I'm cutting all the way. Line this up with the blade. Let's begin. Now don't do what I do here. I find it easier to uh, lift this plate up and just watch the blade go down. Don't do that. It's probably not a safe way to use this, but it's easier for me visually to see where the blade is going and making sure I'm getting a clean cut where I marked. Made a little messy there. So what you're going to do is you're going to raise this piece again up. You shouldn't do this. But we'll, we'll sand it down a little. Raise it up a little. There we go. Nice clean cut.
cut all around. Okay. Uh, my teacher's name was Mr. Schneider. I wonder if you could see this now. <laughs> Let me clean it up some more. Hold on. Okay, now I'm going to take this to the cabinet and see if it uh, fits and then we'll put the LED in. Okay. Okay, so I measured out the, uh, the uh, slider thing on the cabinet and it fits perfect. Okay, and um, I just took the uh, LED lights out of the box and plugged it into an outlet I have here so we're gonna test it out see if it works and yes they do they work you can put any color you want you got uh, red green turquoise uh, should probably pick that you can do blue you got brightness brighter or darker uh, you got modes different modes so you can do flashes, your strobe, fade, and smooth, or soothe, uh, that's what it says there, smooth actually, okay, and everything seems to work out fine, let me shut these off, unplug them, now this if you weren't going to use this on a Pi or anything else, you'd probably need a, uh, a USB outlet. That's how I'm testing them. But because this is going to go straight into the Pi, the Pi will power this up and give it enough uh, strength to, uh, to light up and go on every time you turn the Pi on. Now to get this to fit on here, okay, you want to measure it out. What I plan to do is... I plan to measure this this probably I probably probably won't cut it because I need enough to go inside the uh, cabinet to reach the pie. So we'll probably leave it at at its at its length. Okay? Because you can't cut these to size. But I don't need to do that because if I do cut it to size from the strip from the power that it connects to okay and I plan to put a little heat sink here a heat sink tubing to hold it in place because they do not they, they do not hold as well but a little heat sink on here would definitely keep this from disconnecting okay these things disconnect like uh, nothing and you don't want that to happen and I realize that my first time I used these but a little heat, heat sinking tube and you can also get a Harbor Freight I'll be leaving links to everything I use you know it's up to you at your own discretion whether you buy this stuff or not um, I'm just telling you where to get it it's not expensive it's just more you know to use and and it's more to keep the project going so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, the very beginning to the end right here it gives us about one two three four five six seven LEDs that'll hit the uh, the outside of the screen under the underneath the marquee so we're gonna do that and then the rest will probably just tuck in through the side inside the cabinet running this wire and also you'll get some lighting inside the cabinet as um as it's plugged in which is good it's not a bad thing to have okay so let me disconnect this piece right here for now and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this adhesive it's 3M adhesive on here okay it's not it's not peeling off right okay so we're gonna remove the uh, the paper and try to get the he said to stay there you go on the the uh, there you go 
There we go. So it's 3M tape on there. Okay. I'm going to start by putting that on the very edge. Okay. Let me zoom us out a little if I have to so we can see. I think we're all the way. So we're going to start it off at the edge of the, uh, the casing right here. Drop it. Stick. And work your way down. And remove the uh, the paper. Once you got it in there, it's going to stay. So make sure you do your best to get it in there evenly. Okay. Once it's in there, it's going to stay really good. Okay. Then we keep working our way down. Until we get to the other end. Okay. There you go. Peel that off. Keep working your way down. Keep working your way down till you get to the other end. And that's it. You're done. What you want to do is you want to cut that piece of paper right off. You don't want to you don't want the rest of it coming out. What I would do is put a piece of tape around there to keep that tape from peeling off anymore. And you have the rest of this to tuck away inside the cabinet. You could either stick it in the cabinet. We'll, 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 we'll figure that out when we get to that point. Um, but there you go. I'm going to put a piece of tape on this end. So that it holds it in place. You're not going to be covering any LED there. It's just metal. Okay. Put a little piece of tape in that area. As a matter of fact, let's cut this tape in half. Just so that it fits in there. You're not covering any LEDs, so you're not going to be dimming off any lights. Okay, just to hold it in place. Go around, and that's it. Okay, got it in place there. Now you want to take the uh, screen that covers the LEDs. You're going to slide it from this end all the way in to the other end. There you go. Like that. And there's also a protection plastic on this, so you want to peel that off after you install this. Okay. So let's uh, test this out one more time so we can see what it looks like. Again, I'm going to put a uh, shrink wrap tubing here. So that this does not unplug that easy. Let's connect it back to the outlet. Plug it in. See what it looks like. Use the remote to turn it on because I turned it off. There you go. You look at it like that. Looks pretty nice. You got about seven LEDs in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven LEDs. It'll look nice in the cabinet. Trust me. Okay, let's turn that off. I'm going to uh, put some 3M tape on this side so we can stick it to the uh, cabinet. Let me get that. Okay, so I took a very long pause on this uh, project here because I had to run to Home Depot, which was last night when I was doing this video. So I had to, uh, I realized I didn't have 
any double sided 3M tape so I went and got us a roll at Home Depot it's heavy duty strong um, it's not as small as I would like it's about an inch wide but it is heavy duty it holds about uh, 30 pounds so instead of putting a whole long strip across like I was planning to I'm going to just put in three pieces one on each end and one in the middle and it should be strong enough to hold this but at least we got enough to do any more other projects that we need to do so let's just cut this open and like I said I'm not gonna be able to run the strip all the way across there's no need for that now just take little small strips and put it on three sections of this and that should be more than enough so let's uh, take what we're gonna need here and I'm gonna put a piece in the beginning like like so and just cut that off be enough like that that's one piece there let's do another piece at the end that out you could tell right now as I'm putting these pieces on that it's very strong which is good because we don't want this to fall down it'll look it'll be very bad it'll be a bad look to do this and it falls off okay and then a little piece in what I am going to assume is the middle and that should hold it up that should be more than enough to hold it underneath the uh, marquee okay now, just gonna cut that cut a little bit more Go. Okay. Uh, should have went more over, but that should be good enough. That will definitely hold it in place. And we'll set the roll aside. And we're gonna place this on the uh, the cabinet underneath the marquee, and we'll be able to put that panel back on because we still have the panel off. And um, we'll cut to that. Okay, so we're back at the uh, cabinet. As you can see, the panel is still off. What we're going to do is we're going to place this LED uh, light strip bar underneath the marquee and run the rest of it through the inside on the side there on the... Uh, on the left side of the, uh, the arcade cabinet and what we're going to do is we're going to have this line up real nice there and run the rest of the wiring within the cabinet pressed against here which is a big possibility right there without hurting anything and then we'll run the rest of the wiring inside the uh, cabinet where you want it to look nice and neat. Sorry, I, I was in the way there. Let me uh, zoom this in a little. To 
forwards. Come right there. Okay. Move this. We got the uh, LED strip going up and across of the marquee. So I'm going to go put that on there now. Remove the uh, red vinyl for the tape. Uh, forgive me if I get in the way of the camera. But I need to be able to physically do this at the same time. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, the red stripping off the uh, double-sided tape. This stuff is super duper strong. Okay, we'll just throw that down there for now. Pick it up when we're done. Okay, this peels off really good. And we only put in three strips. So it should be strong enough to hold it in place. This stuff does, I think the uh, red taping is very difficult to peel off. So I'm using like a little pick here to be able to grab it and just peel it off. See, yep, yeah, there we go. A little trick I used to do. Okay, now I'm going to line this up with the uh, bottom of the marquee. On the inside, right above the uh, the monitor, and we're gonna try to put this on there not so tight until we fit it perfectly. We don't want it to stay on. We don't want it to stick on there wrong. Everything lined up right. And that's it. I think we did it. All right. Everything's lined up in the edging of the marquee, so it's not bad. Okay. We have no gap. Fit in perfectly. Stuck in perfectly. Uh, we have no LED getting caught up here because there, there, um, that's where the panel will go. So I was hoping that no LED would have got caught up in there. So when I put in the uh, panel, it'll definitely fall right into place. I have no gap here. That double-sided tape is holding on really good. So we're good there. And I think we're ready to put the uh, the panel back on. So we're going to do that. And then from there, I will trace where I want to put the rest of this wiring. Which I'll probably just run it right across the cabinet so we got a little bit of lighting in there I don't I don't know maybe I'll run it down the side here I don't know we'll figure it out let's get that panel in there first and then play it by eye there and see how how good it looks okay so we're gonna get that panel that we took off to put on the uh, power switch okay Probably making it is the LED lighting, but I think 
Good. We could uh, continue by screwing everything in. Standing up the cabinet, making sure that monitor is screwed in too. We also have the screws for that out. So let's put in the uh, let's put in the six screws that we set aside for the uh, panel. And then we'll find the screws that we took out for the uh, monitor, which I see right now. Okay, so we're going to do six screws for the uh, side panel. One. the bottom four first and then I'll put the uh, top two after I make sure that that monitor is going to fall in its place where it's supposed to. Let me get my uh, trusty Harbor Freight screwdriver. Okay. We're going to hand tighten this, not super tight. I think from here, I'm going to try to see if I can get those monitor screws in. I think it it was easier getting them out because all they did was fall out. I think putting them back in might be a little difficult. So I think it's best that we stand this up and work on it from there. Then we can put the uh, last two screws up here so that there's no issues. So let's lock in the wheelchair and attempt to stand this up without breaking anything. Okay, so we got the cabinet up on the dolly and we have it in the upright position. What we're going to do is we're going to screw in those uh, other four screws for the monitor. And we'll take our trusty screwdriver from Harbor Freights. 
again the screw these in. One down. Three, two, one. Okay, so I turned the cabinet around so we get a better look at what I'm doing here. Um, I also put on my uh, headlamp so I can see the screws and what I'm screwing in here a little better. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the last two screws for the monitor in here. There's some light in there. Uh, what you want to do is when you're doing these modifications, you just want to do things once. You don't want to keep taking this cabinet apart so many times. It tends to weaken the uh, durability of it when you do that. So, you know, pace yourself, know your order, know exactly what you got to do in what order, and then just figure out from there what you got to do. So now I got the four screws in for the uh, monitor, and now I'm going to put in the uh, two screws for the top of the panel, right here. So we got one in there, and we got one in here, okay. What you're gonna do is tighten these up and you may notice a little gap here because that's where your LED is creeping in but once you tighten this screw up you'll lose out some of that gap and that's a good thing not too tight but enough that you feel it Now, if you recall in the beginning video where I put the uh, wire wrap right here, clean this area up. This is going to be your final wire you're going to put in there, your LED wire. Okay. I'm going to put that in there so that it's not all messy in a, and all over the place as well. Leftover LED lights, of course. You don't, you don't need to stress that. You could stick it anywhere you want. You got leftover double siding on there. You can stick that wherever you want. You can just let it hang so that you'll be able to see better. Or 
what I would do, I'm trying to figure out what I would do. I really don't see what I want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stick the rest of the LED light along the side here of the, the uh, monitor panel. And um, hopefully I won't ever have to take this apart again. have some lighting illuminating through the back a little bit nothing major so we're gonna peel this off and take off whatever we can your uh, LED strip right there and once I uh, we could actually test it out right now because we need to test off the uh, the power strip so we're gonna take the uh, USB um, plug outlet and we're gonna plug it in here and we're gonna get a plug to plug in the uh, power supply on the side there, the power strip, and the power switch, and make sure everything works. So what I did was I connected it like this to the LED lighting, and we got a cable, and a spare one there. So we're going to test this panel out, we're going to test the LED lights and we're going to test the uh, our electrical work. Be very careful, make sure everything is working. You should get a light. Yeah, you get a light on the other on the switch that it indicate that it, it has power. Yes, if we do have power on the uh, switch. The uh, surge protector is now turned on, and there is your LED. Everything's working perfectly. You could turn this, the the power off down here at the bottom, like so. But you're not going to be going in and out, you know, inside the cabinet to turn it off. You're going to be going, you know, off the side here of the uh, cabinet to turn it off. So you got an off and on switch. And let's see what it looks like in the front now. Because that's where we wanted the LEDs to be at. which we're not seeing. I think we have a problem, Houston. I think we have a break in the connection. Crap. All right, let's stop the video. Okay. So if you didn't notice in the uh, couple of minutes ago, I was having some problems with the uh, LEDs that I put on the uh, cabinet. Uh, the ones I bought from five and below. Um, unfortunately, when I put on the uh, panel, I kind of pinched it on the top and they lost connection somehow. So I had to uh, stop the video and do a little troubleshooting and I didn't want to record all of that. but. Um, I wasn't able to fix it because it, I must have uh, pinched a resistor and it just stopped connection from the uh, top of the panel here 
from the top panel up here to the strip itself in front of the uh, the monitor underneath the marquee. So what I did was I was able to find a set of uh, LED lights that I bought prior from Amazon, a little more expensive. You know, uh, the ones at five and below were five dollars, but the only thing is the one that were more expensive did not have the uh, remote. They had a little uh, modular on the end of it that you can pro that you can press and change the modes and stuff like that. I wanted to do something different with the uh, with this cabinet and and put LEDs with a remote so it'd be easier to change everything instead of having to hit the modular every time. So I went to Five and Below. I'm not bashing their product. It just wasn't made for what I used it for on this project, and it did require a you know a little pinching on the side. And these LED lights are a little better quality. Um, they uh they ha she she my daughter will get more lights in the front than what the uh, Five and Below did. But like I said, it didn't have the remote setup. So what I was able to do is disconnect the uh, wire setup and reconnect it to the new LEDs and now I'm able to use the remote that came with the 5 and below LEDs with these LEDs so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out on the uh, video and we're gonna test out the power strip as well again to make sure it's working so I got a, uh, a AC plug or a computer plug whichever one you can also get these in um, Walmart, I think for like 12 bucks. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video and switch it on. And looks like the power strip is off, so turn that on and voila! LED lights are working and functioning. Uh, she gets more LEDs out of this one, it's a little bit better than the uh, five uh, and below in the sense that. It has more LEDs, but the 5 and below came with a remote. So like I said, I had to swap some things around. Let's check the front, see if that's working. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see it. Let me shut these lights off. There you go. The marquee is lighting up underneath. She got more than seven lights up there uh, than the 5 and below one would have gave her. And again, I'm not knocking the five and below one. That's a good, good setup. It was just not made for what we're doing. And I guess, you know, trial and error you learn. But you could go and use those LED lights for anything else. Uh, even if you just want the remote section of it. And, you know, but I'm sure on Amazon, I'm going to do a little more research and put a link at the bottom of the video to see if I can get us some LED lights with the remote at a good price. These lights here cost me about 8 or $9 without a remote. And they were extra and thank God I had them so that I could do this repair. And um, all you want to do is remove this plastic covering off the uh, shader there. And now we got um, LED lights. That's good. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to put... Uh, almost everything together I guess put back the uh, kick plate the J panel control board and I don't think I had any other modification I had to do um, we're gonna wire up uh, some stuff together and the only thing really left to do on here is the pie and the skin of course which will we'll do a video feature on that and um, that's it for now. Let me uh, get situated and we'll do the uh, we'll, we'll we'll assemble everything together.